opening day of pronghorn in Idaho. So we have a doe or fawn pronghorn tag. So we're gonna head out, see if we can't see anything tonight. See if we can't put one down tonight. So we're just heading out now. So we found a bunch of them. That one directly in the middle of the buck, but watch these other two does. So we can take any one of them. I'm just kind of waiting. What's my buddy say? About 20 minutes away. So I'm just kind of waiting on him. And it's super windy. These are about 420 yards away. So, very doable with this gun. But I'm just going to keep watching them. See what they're doing. We got some kind of up on these hills right here. My buddy's truck's right over there. Uh, he's over there. I parked over here. Because uh, they were just right here. Right out in front of me right here. But they've moved that way. So we are moving over there to make a play on them. Let's see if we can't get one tonight. We got about an hour left of shooting light. So Moving in. Well, we've got a lot of pronghorn right there. Some more over there. But, we got to get them out of that field. So, we'll leave these for now. See if we can't go find something else. See if they come out of the field. Alright, making in another stock. Found some out over this hill so I'm just trying to get to the near the end here and then get it set up and hopefully get a shot off so we'll get down here get set up and see if we can't get within range so we're moving in on them Well, it is blowing like crazy out there, which isn't great. So we're just kind of hanging out here for a little bit, seeing if the wind will die down a little bit, but it's been super windy the last couple days. So it's made it horrible for hunting, but we're still gonna, still gonna go after it. See if we can't luck into anything. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's blowing like crazy. It's friggin' moving the truck.
the one on the right. Um, damn. You do want to advance further. She's acting, hey. I know. But watch me. Do you want to go up? Did she just lay down? We're out here pronghorn hunting. So we found them. They were right here. We were about 300 yards that way. And we got one down right over here. So it was kind of weird. It sounded like a hit and then a zing. So we found her right here, but. Can you see her head? We were just giving her a little time to expire. So we'll go up and take a look at her though. All right, so we shot her. We're just on the other side of this little knob rim thing here. We shot her, we found first blood. So, it's a doe pronghorn tag, so we'll go, we'll find her. She's down somewhere right in here. Yeah, we know you that, see. but we found some blood, so we'll we kind of follow the blood trail and go find her. So, I mean, look, that goes all the way all through these plants. Oh, dear. Dear. It's like a good shot placement. Oh yeah. Must have been where she stopped after getting hit. Good work. Pumping it there. Oh yeah. Good, good hit, man. There she is. Nice. She's done. Good job, bro. Let's go. <laughs> First pronghorn. <laughs> Oh, right behind the shoulder. Good hit. That had to be in the exit because she was facing this way. Yeah. Good hit, man. They're small. <laughs> They're not very big. No. Come look at this. See this right behind her shoulder. Yeah, you did good. Look at that. That's a good exit hole. Good placement. Thank you, thank you. Pretty girl. Well, we'll get some pictures and pack her out of here. It's not, we're probably seven, eight hundred yards from the truck. Not too but bad. All of our bags are in the truck, so we're going to pack her out whole. <laughs> a little muscle man work. But first look at pronghorn nice buddy there you go pretty cool she doesn't have really any horn 
sometimes. She's got little nubs, but that's about it. So, thank you. Thank you. Alright, first look, I guess second look, but 2022 pronghorn doe tag in Idaho. So beautiful, beautiful animal. It's gonna make some excited to try it. I've never tried pronghorn meat before, so we'll see how it tastes, but I'm excited for it. Beautiful animal, like I said. It's got nice stripes there. But got her at about 320 yards. Um, where she dropped so we'll get her taken care of get her packed out of here and go from there but I'm excited for it beautiful animal she got little tiny nubs just little little tiny ones right there yeah so <laughs> got one there another tiny tiny one right there but nice little mohawk pretty mane on her so it's gonna be gonna be fun I had an injury coming in here. We were trying to stalk in and got on my hands and knees and I was going through the brush here and knelt right on a cactus and still have some cactus in my knee, but it was all worth it. Whatever it takes. Got the job done. So there we go. She's got a cold neck pattern too. Yeah. Well, sweet. Thank you, man. All thanks to Jacob behind the camera, my cameraman, my Tell me how far they are. Everything kind of. Up. It's hard to get a range, to get a range in this flat, flat stuff. stuff but yeah. It's been a fun hunt, so excited yep. to have her. And on to the next one, Arizona, later this month. Arizona elk. <laughs> so Heck yeah, five, five tags this year. This is the fourth one I've filled, so one more to <laughs> fill, and good year. So Good work, we'll man. We'll go with it, but thanks for watching, and we'll get her packed out of here. All right, you lead the way. All right, we got her packed out. <laughs> Let's go. I'm right behind you.